Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotag, and we're going to do some iPhone 4 tips. These are for new users that just got an iPhone and may need a little bit of help understanding how the whole thing works or try and get the most out of their iPhone. So let's first talk about iCloud. Now iCloud is one of those things you probably have heard about, maybe you saw when you were signing in for the first time, and it asked for an Apple ID. So the first thing you want to do is have an Apple ID. If you don't have that already, you can get that at me.com or you can get that within the phone. So let's go here where I have settings. So you should have a settings button on your phone and under settings, we'll see iCloud as one of the settings. We tap on it and we're in iCloud here. You can see this is my iCloud account, anzolo at mac.com. And I have a bunch of different options that say on and below i have a few more that say on but without a little switch here so what icloud does is it backs everything up to the cloud now for those of you that don't know the cloud is someone's storage on the internet so apple has a giant data center in north carolina they also have one in california as well and what they do is have a bunch of computers that store all of your information and a bunch of other people's inf information as well and what this is is called the cloud because it's the cloud it's out on the internet somewhere or it's in the cloud so they manage that and what you need to do in order to use it is simply have an iCloud account or a me account or in my case I've been a user for some time so I have an at Mac address once you have your at Mac address you can simply sign into iCloud and you'll be presented with all of these options and what this is doing is it's asking me if I want to sync all of my information to the cloud which means if I have an iPad or even a Mac this will sync across all of those devices that use iCloud so you can see I have mail and contacts calendars reminders books bookmarks notes photo stream documents and data and find my iPhone so to give you an example, one of the things I can do is go to me.com, which will then ask me to go to iCloud.com. And once I'm at iCloud, I can search for my iPhone once I've logged in. So if I leave my iPhone somewhere, I can't find it. It will actually locate it for you, assuming that it's on and has battery. So let's go ahead and take a look at the main settings. So if we go into the account here, you can see there's my ID, my password. It's asking me if I would like to upgrade to 20 gigabytes per year for $40 more storage. And we also have our payment information. Once you're signed in, you shouldn't really have to deal with this much more until you need to get more storage or even if you need more storage. There's also an advanced down at the bottom. We can go to advanced. You can see there's my name. There's my at me address or at Mac address. Same thing. They just have different endings, but they are exactly the same thing. Uh, these are my servers that you really don't need to know too much about. And there's more advanced settings as well uh, that you can take a look at, but they're more about mailbox behaviors and deleted messages and how it wants to handle those. So let's go back and look at our accounts. We have mail and like I said, these things all sync, but some of you may have seen photo stream and thought, what is photo stream? Well, photo stream allows you to sync some of your photos onto the cloud. So what that means is if I take a picture with my camera from the phone and then to have this turned on, which is simply an on off option, it will send that immediately to the cloud over a data connection and allow me to keep it there as storage or backup but it also allows me to view this on anything from an iPod touch to an Apple TV an iPad or my Mac they will all sync up I'll have the photo on every one of them instantly but you do have the option to turn it on or off you must be using the same account though as well the other option we have is documents and data documents and data does the same thing with documents and data it stores that on the cloud so if you're using pages which is Apple's version of kind of equivalent to Microsoft Word uh, it's similar to that it will save those documents to the cloud so that you can edit them on any of your devices so that's really what iCloud is all about it's about getting everything on the cloud and keeping it safe for storage however the one option we didn't talk about is backup so let's go back into iCloud and down at the bottom we have storage and backup storage and backup is exactly that one thing I would definitely suggest you do is turn on iCloud backup.
And what this does is back up the entire phone to the cloud. So say you need to go to Apple because you have a problem with your iPhone, or maybe you lost data or had to reset it for whatever reason and you're missing something. Simply go to iCloud, turn it on, and it'll download the backup to your phone and it will be exactly how you left it. It even knows where to put the apps in the folders like I have on my screen here. It puts those apps in the respective folders that you set them in to begin with and everything will be back just how you left it and it's free. You have up to five gigabytes of storage for free. I have a little more since I've been in the program for some time. It includes photos as far as the five gigabytes go, but you have a lot of different things that are stored on there that aren't counted, as such as your music. If you buy music, it will be backed up on the cloud as well, but that doesn't count against your five gigabytes, any music or video that you've previously purchased. So it's a really handy tool, and iCloud is something I would definitely recommend to anyone that hasn't used it or hasn't turned it on or was a little bit skeptical or didn't know what it did. So if you want a backup solution, and you have all of those options, so if you like some of them, keep some of them on. If you don't, turn some of them off. It's really that simple. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please go ahead and place them in the comments below. And subscribe if you haven't already. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.